Talk us oh. through a little bit about what happened directly after X Factor Australia. Um, oh, gosh. Well, I mean, of course, you know, the come down from the show is crazy because you, you're used to just being on this, you know, kind of hard-hitting thing every week, you know, nervous every week <laughs> and, you know, hoping Australia will vote for you. Um, so it's, it's kind of a relief after that you get to then go, you know, live your dreams. Um, and basically I was, I went straight into uh, recording the In Excess Never Tear Us Apart yes. uh, series. Um, Where you were Kylie least, Minogue, right? Yeah, well, I was Kylie Minogue playing her. Um, and then I obviously did um, Firestarter and I did an album, yeah. um, performed in, in a few places in the world and, um, I don't, I, God, I can't even remember. It's been so many years. <laughs> it must have been, like, it's it's tiring, not in a bad way, but just hearing you recount <laughs> all that. Like, it, it out. <laughs> there must have been years there when you were in the height of your success because after X Factor, you, you know, you went on and you supported um, One Direction on their Aussie tour, oh, which was huge. Right. Yep. There was Never Tear Us Apart. There was, you know, doing your own gigs all over the world. Like, there must be whole years there that are kind of a blur. <laughs> I reckon the year, definitely the two years after, because you just kind of like, you, you're so excited that people want to see you gig. That's been your dream the whole time. And so you're going, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'll take it. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. And then you don't realize that you haven't left yourself any room to, you know, sleep or breathe. Or, <laughs> <laughs> But at the same time, that's what you wanted and that's the dream, you know. So I don't regret any of it and I've had the best time. So have you slowed down a little bit in the last couple of years or is life still just as hectic for you? Well, I think obviously COVID was such a slowdown for the industry mm. um, and it's such a job that we can't like work from home really, yeah. you know, because it's like we we gig, we do work, uh, performances and you can't really do that over Zoom. I actually weirdly did do a few Zoom performances, which was Were they very like, was weird. it awkward? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because it's like you finish a song and then you're like, okay, on to the next, like, because there's no, like, you know, you don't know when to, <laughs> it was kind of weird, and, you know, like, the weird freezing, and <laughs> yeah. it wasn't my safe way of performing, that's for sure. Do famous people <laughs> still get starstruck? <laughs> Do you still have this? Like, have you had in your life, like, you meet one of your idols, mm. and, yeah. yeah, you become, like, awkward, like, people might be around you? Does that make sense? Oh, definitely. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I this one time I met Brandy, who I'm a oh, huge fan yeah. of. The boy is mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, like, you know, she is – anyone who's, like, a real, like, vocalist is obsessed with Brandy because she's right. one of the best singers ever. And so this was in L.A. when I was there writing, and I was in – just come out of the bathroom actually and you know girls in the bathroom you chat Mm. while you're washing your hands and like reapplying your lip gloss and I look over at the next like sink and she's washing her hands and I'm like oh my gosh it's Brandy it's Brandy and I just said I was like oh because she kind of I caught her eye because it was kind of awkward how I was staring at her (laughs) and she was like oh my gosh I love your outfit and I went I love you you Not so awkward. Weird. I was like, I cooked it. I cooked that. How many times <laughs> since have you worn that outfit? Because Brandy loved it. Have, hasn't taken it off, oh have you, Samantha? <laughs> I reckon I wore that outfit to every meeting I had after that. Yeah, <laughs> Brandy. Oh, this outfit. Yeah, Brandy likes it as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, like this, Brandy does. Yeah. Samantha, so Gabby mentioned it. You're on Celebrity Apprentice right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you have that cutting edge, that brutal touch that is sometimes oh. needed in a show like Celebrity Apprentice? I mean, I don't know. I don't know because it's one of those things that you, you know, this show really pushes you and you are outside of your comfort zone and you don't really, you know, you're, you're doing stuff that's on your wheelhouse, you know. So I definitely had to stand up for myself mm. a few times. Um, But I never, like, I never go past being, you know, rude or brutal. Okay. (laughs) So that means you don't last very long. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. (laughs) If you really, 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 really liked this video, please click on the like button as well as the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.